In this project we have two electric guitars, one is panned left and the other right. We want to compare the left and right guitars to get a good understanding as to where they sit with each other in the spectrum. So we will insert an instance of the Blue Cats Analyst into each track and select channel 1 and the instant curve for the left guitar. And name it. And channel 2 for the right guitar with the instant curve. and name this too. And let's have a look. As it happens, these two guitars were played on the same guitars with the same Guitar Rig 5 setting, so their comparison won't show anything drastic, but it should give you an idea of how helpful this could be when trying to either blend or separate the two tracks by adding space between the two with EQ. Here is another way you can use the analyst using channels 1 and 2. Here we have the same track we were using at the beginning, but it has been mixed down as a WAV file and brought back in, maybe for mastering or final EQ check. We will insert the analyst inside the master bus and switch the mode to mid side. We will then go back to the routing view. Now channel 1 is acting as our mid or mono channel and channel 2 is acting as the sides or stereo image of our track. So we will select the instant curve on channel 1 and name it mid and select the instant curve on channel 2 and name it stereo. Now with this info we can see the differences that might occur between the stereo and mono imaging of a given track. Let's have a look. There is a clap that happens as part of one of the drum samples and maybe I think it is sounding a little dull or I want to make the clap stand out a little. I can look at the real time frequency spectrum and look at where in the mid curve does it peak when the clap occurs in the song. This will direct me as to where this specific sample sits in the spectrum. So let's turn off the stereo curve and have a look and keep an eye out for any peaks when the clap is sounded. Let's say around 1.7k is roughly where our clap sits. Although it affects a larger area, we have to take into consideration that we are listening to the entire song and have to compensate for the other frequencies being affected. We can always sweep across the frequencies to get the desired clap we are after, but for now we will settle at 1.7k. So we will boost in this area with a narrow Q so not to affect too many of the surrounding frequencies. And let's have another listen. As you can hear, the clap is now enhanced without too much being changed anywhere else. Having an effect on the song as a whole is unavoidable with this method as you are dealing with all the frequencies together, but sometimes you don't have the privilege of having the raw track with separate instruments to EQ, and therefore have to rely on pinpointing specific frequencies that you want to bring out in the mix, and this is a great way to do so. Again, having the availability to see these frequencies in different stereo and mono situations allow for great accuracy and ultimately a great mix of results when combined with good EQ.
As I've said, my EQing has been overdone so you can see the results, but I think it demonstrates what can be achieved when time and care is taken in as a factor. Let's look at another possible way to use the analyst, and that is to compare two separate tracks that have been exported as waves and re-imported into your chosen door. This method is handy if you wish to make adjustments to one track to get the same feel as the other by altering the one track's frequencies to match the other. So for this we will add an instance of the Blue Cats analyst into both tracks and set instant curve for both and name them. Now the good thing about this is, is that the analyst will still work even when both tracks are muted, so you don't necessarily have to listen to both tracks at the same time and hear a jumbled mess, but instead compare both frequency responses and make any adjustments, then compare the two afterwards at one time, whilst noticing the results given by the analyst. Let's have a look at these two whilst muted. You can see that the two are in fact very close together in both dB and frequency. A very good technique when you are trying to mix an album and want the same feel throughout. An even better way to use these results and compare two whole tracks is inside the diff view. Here we have the same two tracks, but this time we have the routing slightly different. Both tracks are now displaying its mid and stereo frequencies. We will go over now to the diff view and you will see clearly the two separate frequency lines. Let's have a look. Blue Cats in their manual suggest another use for this, and that is to compare a track of your own and a commercial track that you might like to emulate. These results will show you what EQing you may need to do in order to make your track sound similar as far as the spectrum goes.